Hey guys, seven in the morning. I'm tired. I decided to surprise you with some stuff. Let's look at the stuff. Some Doritos, some cookies, a card, a beef chevy, and some balloons. <laughs> okay. Okay, so everything's going terribly. I forgot the balloons, I had to go back to the house to get them. And I got on the train, and when I'm more than halfway to my mom's job, she texts me saying that Jacob threw up, and now I have to go pick him up. interrupted by a man staring at me like I was like an animal. Um, like I was saying, I'm gonna go to my mom's shop anyway. My mom's either gonna be really, really upset when she sees me, or she's gonna be like pleasantly surprised. Because I texted her saying I was at school, and the whole thing with Jacob happened, she's gonna be like, you could've been home. So we'll see. Oh, You can't see it, but she's yelling at me, asking me what time I get out. And I told her to come downstairs. She sent me question marks. And I'm saying, just come. Oh my God, she's going to hate me so much. I'm just trying to make her happy. I'm waiting for her to come downstairs. Oh my God, she's going to be so mad. School. You don't? No, because I'm a senior and they got the test today. Erica, you I was already halfway here. I want to surprise you. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> you like your stuff? Yay! Oh, she kicked me out of her job because of Jacob. And I'm back at the job. Ooh. Up at the guy. Every year, the birthday fairy comes around to make us a year older, that bitch. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> So let me tell y'all a little story. So I was eating my food, you know, at the Chinese spot, yum yum yum. And I realized this guy keeps looking at me. I'm like, why is this looking at me? So I'm getting closer and closer to finishing my food. He keeps looking at me more and more. I'm like, why is he looking at me? So once I get to pretty much being done, he um he nudges me and he was like, Are you gonna be busy when you're done eating? And I was like, Yeah, I'm gonna be busy. Of course I'm gonna say I'm busy, I don't know you. Whatever. And then he was like, oh, because I was going to ask you if you could go to the Supreme store up the block, I'll pay you $10 just to buy this bag for me. I'm banned from the store. So I was like, J just, a, just $10 to go up the block to buy a bag? I was like, of course I was willing to do it. But then the girl from the store comes in and she's like, I see what you're doing. You know, don't do that stuff in front of us. And he was like, I wouldn't be doing it in front of y'all if you didn't come into this Chinese spot. And then they went back and forth. And she was like, be quiet, little boy, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, I'm 23, I get that bank. And I was like, whoa, like I'm really in New York right now. And then he like, he sits next to me and he's like, are you still willing to do it? And I was like, no, and I left. I just really never thought that somebody would go that hard for a Supreme bag. Like, just take the train a few stops and you're at another Supreme store. Like, I didn't see what was so serious about it. Okay, so this is officially the end of the vlog. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Bye. Jacob, you want to say anything? Bye, YouTubers! Bye! <laughs>